Hello friends, welcome to Science for Juniors. Benny seems to be late today due to the bad weather outside. Oops, hello professor. Hey, why are you crying Benny? I'm not crying professor. The wind is blowing really fast outside. All the dust entered into my eyes. Oh God, how I hate this weather. I don't know what causes this wind to blow so fast. I mean, is it that some day we human beings breathe out so much that this wind blows really fast? No, no, Binny. Wind is not caused by the air that we breathe out. Huh? But I always thought that the wind blowing is the air that we breathe out. Well, in that case, Binny, I think you have a great myth in your data bank of knowledge. Why don't we study about wind today? Okay, Professor. So let's get into the virtual world to study about it. We all have seen children flying kites. Surely you know it is easier to fly kite on slightly windy days than on non-windy days. Did you ever wonder what is wind and what causes it? Let's find answers to these questions and more in the module on wind where we study What is wind and wind currents? How wind currents are generated? And find out the direction of wind. Look at these plants swaying and pinwheels rotating in the presence of wind. All light objects like paper, dry leaves and feathers fly off to distances during wind. So, what is wind? Moving air is called wind. And the movement of air in a particular direction creates wind currents. A burning candle can help us understand the basic principle involved in wind current formation. When a candle burns, the air near the flame becomes hot and rises up. The cool air from the surroundings takes its place. This causes the movement of air above the candle flame. Wind currents are generated around the earth based on the same principle. You know, America is the world's windiest place where wind blows at more than 100 kilometers per hour and that too for 5 months of the year. 100 kilometer per hour? What a speed, Professor! Yes, Binny. With that speed, let's quickly get into the virtual world. Across the Earth, there are two reasons because of which wind currents are generated. Firstly, due to unequal heating of Earth at equator and poles. Secondly, due to uneven heating of land and water. Let's understand these two reasons one by one. See these polar bears from North Pole and penguins from South Pole. Both these species of animals require below zero degree temperature for survival. Such conditions are possible only at the poles. And why is that so? That's because sun's rays fall obliquely at the two poles of the earth. Hence, heating is minimum at the poles. As a result, temperatures fall below zero in the polar regions. In contrast, sun's rays fall directly at equator. Hence, the heating is maximum at the equator. It is this uneven heating of Earth that results in wind formation. 
Let's see how. The lighter warm air at the equator weighs less than cold air, so it rises. The cool air from regions in the 0 to 30 degree latitude from either side of the equator moves in and replaces the warm air at the equator. This generates the wind currents in this part of the earth. The warm air between 30 to 60 degree latitude rises up and the cold air from the poles replaces it. This generates the wind currents near polar regions. So, globally, uneven heating of the Earth's surface is one of the main reasons for wind formation. The second significant reason resulting in wind currents is uneven heating of land and water. Land and oceans have a distinct characteristic. Land heats up and cools down very fast. Water, on the other hand, takes very long to heat as well as to cool. It is because of this that during summers, the region around equator is hotter than oceans. The warm air above the equator rises. The winds blow from the oceans towards the equatorial land regions. These ocean winds carry lot of water with them. They result in summer monsoons. During winters, it is the reverse. The land around the equators is cooler than the ocean. This is because the land cools faster than water. Air above the oceans, being warmer, rises up. The wind currents flow from land to oceans. The winter winds are cool but dry. They result in very little winter monsoon. So, Binny, did you understand how these wind currents blow? Oh, yes, Professor! You know, just like you, the ancient Greeks also had a myth regarding wind. Really? What was their myth, Professor? They used to think that wind was the earth breathing in and out. <laughs> what a funny myth, Professor! But not as funny as yours, Binny. Ha ha ha! Um, uh, Professor, aren't we getting late for our next trip into virtual world? Oh, yes, yes. Let's quickly get into it. Let's determine the wind direction. See here. Do you recognize it? Well, it is a weathercock. Weathercock or wind vane indicates wind current direction. It always points in the direction of the wind. Similarly, wind sock flies in the direction of wind. There is still a simpler way by which we can know which way is wind coming from. Lick your index finger and hold it up in the air. The side of the finger which feels cool is the direction from which wind is blowing. Why are you licking your finger, Binny? It looks really disgusting. Oh, um, Professor, I'm just trying to figure out the direction of wind. But Professor, neither sides of my index finger is feeling cool. Oh, Binny, the wind is blowing outside, not inside the lab. <gasps> oh, yes. How can I forget that? You really enlightened me about wind today. Of course, Binny. But we are not done yet. So let's get into the Do You Know section. Do you know that wind can be used as a source of energy? Really? But how do we use this wind as a source of energy? You see, wind energy can be used for various purposes. 
It can be used in wind turbines to make electricity, wind pumps for water pumping or drainage, or sails to propel ships. We humans had been using wind energy for thousands of years. Sailors captured it in the sails of their ships and weather has therefore had important historical consequences. You won't believe that the Spanish Armada was defeated with the help of stormy weather around the British Isles. Wow, Professor! Wind seems to be really useful! Yes, Binny. And you know, wind energy is also a renewable source of energy because the wind will blow as long as the sun shines, which actually causes the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. That means, Professor, we will never fall short of this source of energy. Alright friends, time to take a memory jog now. Let's hit the act and quickly recapture the learnings from today's session. In this module, we have learned the following. The movement of air in a particular direction creates wind currents. Wind currents are generated because of uneven heating of earth. Unequal heating of land and oceans cause summer and winter monsoons. Ah, Professor, I can smell the fragrance of wet soil. I think it's raining outside. Yes, Binny, I can smell it too. <gasps> uh? <laughs> <laughs> You know, tree frogs have been used as barometers of rainfall as they often respond to approaching rain by croaking. Wow! One more learning. But Professor, I don't want to miss the rain. So I want to rush now, okay? Bye! Benny seems to be really excited about the rain. So friends, it's time for us to go now. But you keep enjoying all the exciting seasons of our planet. Goodbye!